A growing concern in the United States today is the issue of immigration. Crime, overcrowded neighborhoods, and the taking of American jobs are just a few of the problems associated with the ongoing surge of incoming foreigners. Extending hope and opportunity in our country requires an immigration system worthy of America. With laws that are fair and borders that are secure. When laws and borders are routinely violated, this harms the interests of our country. Since 2000, 1.4 million unauthorized Central American migrants have made the treacherous journey into the United States. Congress, as well as the President, have been debating and trying to pass immigration reform. A little progress has made. To dig run deep in this capital when it's immigration, let us serious, civil, and conclusive debate. You can have, I can find, comprehensive immigration reform to law. As the government struggles find the reach, one innovative news takes bold steps in leaving its own immigration world. Jupiter Flora, known as Quarters, Family Birds, and Beautiful Jews, it's also known as the Chazine. Original mom before finding this web group migrate e to the hoping to land a job on a construction site. Word spread back to friends and relatives in their hometown of Hacaltenango, Guatemala, near the Mexican border, and more people came. Jupiter has struggled with the growing number of immigrants looking for work and better lives. Nowhere had that become more evident than in the daily congregation of men on the streets in the early morning hoping that employers will pick them up for day jobs. On Center Street, hundreds of people stand in line waiting for a contract to drive by and hire a few. The sheer number not only intimidated the residents and businesses on Center Street, but led to block traffic, piled trash, and public urination. It had been a huge detriment to property owners on and around Center Street. The reception of people considering buying that area was a disorganism of people sounding in the trick, salty trick uh, problems, people stopping people, dropping people off. Um, some of the problems is related to um, neighborhoods, uh, quality of issues, um, bringing you know, the problems involving crimes, whether it be them being victims or them being uh, suspects in particular crimes. Uh, we try to tailor their problems and improve their quality of life within the town of Jupiter. What is driving more and more Guatemalans to leave their families behind to come to Florida illegally? In the 1980s, scores of Guatemalans fled their country when a decade-long civil war claimed more and more lives of the Mayan population. Of 40 million people who live in Central America, nearly half are poor. This is why they cross the border on a perilous journey through the desert. Many immigrants want only the opportunity to work temporarily and return to their homes. Home to many Jupiter is Hongo. The small mountainous town in the Sierra Andre region of Mexican board. Life here is not paired light in Jupiter. A cult to know is one of the main places growing to the cost of the world. Lions. Between the unpredictability of the international commodity market and the bureaucracy of government regulations, small farmers struggle to subsist. When they can't, they migrate to the United States and many of them end up working in Jupiter. Workers don't want to leave their families, but when the coffee prices drop, they have no choice. As the need for labor increased to Jupiter, and the desire for better jobs in Hakaltenango, a bridge was formed between the two seas. In 2005, Hakaltenango mayor Moises Perez left his country for Jupiter to meet with Marin Golanka. Their meeting resulted in a sister city agreement, strengthening the ties between the force of Guatemala and Fuji of Jupiter. Immigration was the top issue amongst Jupiter Town Council, and on December 6, 2006, Jupiter committed the sole resource. <laughs> And that one of years does most places. I can tell as an official uh, department to do is nothing. And we did nothing. Initially, the center was believed to be merely a labor center, when in fact, it has become a place to tie the immigrants to the community. Learning English, job safety, and recently computer usage, the center has helped lessen the gap between immigrants and the rest of the population. When it comes to job opportunities, the center helps workers learn jobs as landscapers, cleaners, and painters. The laborers, mostly 40 and younger from Guatemala and Mexico, said the center is a welcome relief from their former outdoor pickup spot on Center Street. 90% of the negative perception, not just perception, but reality, was having people, whether they were immigrants or Americans, um, sitting out street corners, being cars to go to work, and the reason their workers were picking them up to work. The unit is working well so far, keeping people off the street, tech workers from unscrewed employers. It's open. The center has registered about 1,200 work, not sure proof that they live in incorporated areas. As the desire for upscale construction and manicured landscaping exists and persists, the need for a cheap yet effective labor force will remain. While Washington lawmakers continue to debate the issue, Jupiter, Florida has done something about it. 
The El Sol's Resource Center is a great achievement for a town that had the political courage and community support to find a solution to a difficult problem. The issue is complex, and you know, can anybody solve hunger? No. I woke up one day and said, but you know what? It can work on hunger in Jupiter, and we do a town, and the next town does it, the next town does it, the next town does it, and see, solve world hunger. Yesterday, I did our cemetery.